if you ever find yourself confused about the difference between toxic and wholesome masculinity, watch Disney Tarzan. Both Tarzan and Clayton are big, muscular men who resemble paragons of masculine behavior. They're beefcakes. They fight their enemies. They express themselves very physically, both in terms of social dominance and simply the way they move and carry themselves. But where all of Tarzan's actions are motivated by his longing for a family that accepts him and his desire to protect them, Clayton's actions are all motivated by greed or by rage and violence when his goals are thwarted. Tarzan, when he comes into contact with a different culture and mode of life than he's used to, immediately takes it upon himself to start learning about them and learning to communicate with them. Clayton, by contrast, tends to shout, shoot things, and threaten. During their final confrontation, when Tarzan wrestles Clayton's gun away, Clayton sneers and tells him to be a man and fire. To which Tarzan responds by smashing the gun and saying, not a man like you. Additionally, Clayton shows extreme disrespect and misogyny towards Jane, but Tarzan is willing to respect her and learn from her when she knows more than him. Ironic that the most animal of these men is the one that treats women better. Yes, in sociology once, our teacher showed a BS video about how Disney pushes toxic masculinity and literally the only examples were Gaston, Frollo, and the lions. The lions. As in the lions from the Lion King. Has your sociology professor ever even read a book about lions? Lions aren't an example of toxic masculinity because the damn things aren't human. If we start using how animals behave as a standpoint for human behavior, we're gonna be screwed. I think the only reason they showed animals is because they were characters and had personalities. It's not like the teacher turned on an Animal Planet thing with lions, pointed to a lion eating something and went, this is toxic masculinity. That would just be weird. Wait, but aren't they supposed to be villains? Like, if they're gonna try to villainize Disney movies, they should have probably found an example of something that we, as the audience, are supposed to agree with, right? There are tons of good dudes. Flynn slash Eugene sacrifices himself for Rapunzel. Quasimodo let Esmeralda love another man and stayed her friend. Kristoff was alright, not my fave, but a very friendly person and loved Anna dearly. Wait, let? I don't think that decision was up to him. I don't know if it's still up, but I once found a YouTube video stating, Disney promotes Satanism. The reasoning, the villains were bad people and shown doing bad things. Lilo and Stitch has Elvis songs and skimpy swimwear and some of the characters make the hand sign of the horns gesture. The creator meticulously watched Peter Pan multiple times to circle every time a character gestured with at least one finger sticking out. Fun fact, if you read the book, which is wildly racist and sexist FYI, it's discovered that Clayton and Tarzan are actually first cousins. Wait, what, really?